This NAB Spotlight is powered by Switcher Studio, a multi-camera, live, video production studio that fits in your pocket. Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with streaming media producer here at NAB 2019. I'm going to dazzle you with something a little bit interesting today. I'm here with Rat Ryan from Dazzle TV, which is internet production in the cloud. There's no truck. There's no live. There's no switcher hardware. There's no nothing. I mean, how does that work? Well, I think there's a, a movement in the industry right now to move away from on-site production, on-site OB trucks, expensive workflows, and trying to open up live events streaming to the masses. And that's really where Dazzle came from, is we are a multi-cam switcher, multi-cam production suite, all built in the cloud. So there's absolutely no hardware, there's no on-site um, equipment at all. And you can use everything from a mobile camera, like an iOS or Android device, we have a free app, or you can use a professional ENG camera that's running an encoder and RTMP streaming into our platform. So it really opens up live event streaming to a whole new uh, range of customers. Now, you're, you're saying this as we're doing a live event multi-stream camera stream here with, I mean, we don't have a production truck, but in terms of doing uh, multi-cam live events, there, we kind of have to be specific when it comes to like the type of event. Now, when you say like, if somebody wanted to do a corporate event in a conference room and show it in the room, this is not that solution, but if somebody's doing a live sporting event for an online audience. So do you have an example of that? Absolutely. So, you know, like the NFL is going to have millions of dollars to spend on daily productions. They've got, you know, 50 cameras in a particular stadium. They've got OB trucks. They have a dedicated satellite connection. That kind of budget is just out of the reach of just your everyday video producer or live event producer. Right, right. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring an extremely affordable workflow in the cloud. And we're also trying to really simplify the workflow for live event producers. So I would argue that the setup you guys have here right now is actually fairly technical. And you have to have a pretty good knowledge of how to do live event production to do it. Our solution actually takes that out of the equation. That someone who's actually in the field shooting an event doesn't have to be um, you know, an avid video producer at all. Uh, as an example of Spartan Race, a very popular like weekend warrior type adventure race, right. uh, is using us. And they have monitors that are on the course, obstacle course, who are already monitoring, volunteering their time. They can pull out the app and they can actually become a live camera um, feed into Dazzle. The producer can sit half a world away. You don't have to fly him to the event. In this workflow, you have to have the producer on site, right. which is usually the more expensive from a production perspective, from a cost perspective, fly somebody out. So with Spartan, they've got someone half a world away producing these events on a weekend basis, uh, which saves them infinite amount of costs. So there's no live camera production, there's no on-site trucks. It's just people using a phone that's in their pocket and using a drone with an encoder, using a professional camera. You can mix those in too, but you can do pretty much live event production at a fraction of the cost than you can previously. Now, production, you know, I, we're looking at the interface here. So you've got multiple cameras, you've got uh, different types of sources. I guess you've got video playback, uh, you've got titles and graphics. And then what about encoding and streaming? How, how does that come into play? Yeah, so you, you kind of hit it on the head is, is this is, if anyone's done any kind of video editing, whether it be Adobe Premiere or they've done something in, in, in a live streaming environment like Wirecast or OBS, this will look very familiar. Down here, the video sources, we can pull in all kind of video for, sources from mobile app, our mobile app, as well as your web browser. We actually, the default technology is in WebRTC, okay. which is a very fast switching technology, uh, so the latency is very low. Okay. And we can also use the browser as a capture device. So you can use this in an educational environment, you can use it in a corporate environment to actually you know, produce a webinar type type platform, right. but then also pull in those, those professional camera feeds, switch between them, add graphics. We integrate with Singular, which is a very popular graphics engine through their API. Uh -huh. That allows you to overlay scores in the case of events. You can in, in, you know, embed your Twitter feed, you can embed new, breaking news, all these different sources. And then from there, you push that live out to a variety of different streaming platforms. So this could be social platforms like Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Periscope, even LinkedIn now has a live streaming platform. Right. Um, or a generic RTMP output. And that RTMP output could be a Wowza, it could be a live streaming service, it could be a um, uh, you know, OVP like Brightcove or Uyala or so on, or even to a CDN like Akamai for delivery. So currently we don't offer the, the the, the delivery and distribution piece, apart right. from getting it to social media. Right. If you want to white label that, you can go use a great vendor like Wowza or something like that to really push that, push that out to the masses. So basically, you, you've got 
acquisition, manipulation, and pushing it out all in a virtual environment that doesn't require, I mean, it also technically doesn't require any investment in hardware either, you know, because you're not buying a video mixer, you're not buying all these monitors and all this stuff. It's just sort of like, listen, you know, this is the package. How is it priced? So it's priced based on, we start as low as $500 a month. Uh, so we have a monthly kind of subscription type model. Um, and then depending on the amount of usage, we have different tiers going up to $1,750 a month. Um, and that's dollars or, or euros. Um, and then we have custom plans. If you're doing a one-off event, you know, in a given month, you don't want a full month plan, we can do custom pricing for events as well. Um, and, and then, you know, the, 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 I think this is a big trend in the industry, is going towards the cloud, going towards trying to create more these kind of thin clients, right. where you can use an iPad to actually produce. Our entire interface is, is touch screen enabled. Okay. So you can pull up an iPad and actually produce this all with, using a thin client, but all the actual processing power happens out in the cloud. And we use AWS as our vendor, so a right. very robust, um, you know, cloud vendor that we can spin up uh, instances at a global level, depending where a particular event is happening. Wow. So. That is sort of an example of where production can be going if you are looking to do something in a, even remote locations. You can have multiple cities, multiple countries involved in a production around the world, have it all come in and be able to produce that in a way that really wasn't possible with hardware-based systems of any type. Yeah, I completely agree. And with our, um, our iPhone and iOS app, or iOS and Android app, uh, we also have like a tally and a two-way communication with the producer. So even though the producer might be sitting in Tokyo and the event's happening in Seattle, they can speak to each other and he can say, hey, focus in on this, focus in on that. And when he's on his I iPhone, he can actually know, he has a tally letting him know that it's live at that given point. Wow. Which is something you don't even see um, with, with professional camera workflows unless you have an extremely expensive uh, tally solution. Right. So, I, and we're working with SRT right now as an ingest, you know, to do really secure, reliable transport ingest into right. the platform. So you can really add those professional workflows as well. Wow. Well, that sounds like an excellent option for those people looking to get into this thing, especially in the larger scope of production. Uh, once again, I'm here with Ryan at Dazzle TV. My name is Anthony Barocas. I am here at NAB 2019 for Streaming Media Producer. Thanks for watching. This NAB Spotlight is powered by Switcher Studio, a multi-camera live video production studio that fits in your pocket.